So last night I was at um the symphony event for Spider-Verse and a young producer approached me. He was like, yo, I don't be knowing should I start my drums first or the melody first or what do you do, what should I do? And I basically was like, you know, whatever speaks to you, whatever's inspiring you in that moment the most. Like, if you have a drum beat in your mind or you might have a melody in your mind first, like you gotta go with the inspiration. But generally, I don't always start one each uh, each way. It's just how I'm feeling that day. Like some days I go to my closet, I get dressed. I might build my outfit off my pants first. Sometimes I might have a shirt and just build around that or a jacket, just depends. So I said all that to say, um, I do also feel like today is often slept on by the younger generation, the power of starting with your drums first and securing a for sure bounce that's gonna work, a bounce that's gonna, uh, a bounce in the rhythm that's gonna captivate people and just keep them moving. Cause like, you know what I'm saying? That's what we do music for, like, you wanna move people. So, um, I'm saying all that to say and just share the, um, it's a true hack. If you just all the way lock in a crazy bounce or just, that don't mean it need to be all that complex, but just a fire bounce to be, as the foundation of your track. Cause you know, your drum's always gonna be the heartbeat of your song or your record. So just securing a, a bounce and then, uh, building everything else on top of that, putting whatever else you want to put on top of that, you know, um, music wise. So, uh, Sam watching the Georgia Alabama game, but, uh, hold on. Let me see how I flip this. Can I not flip this? Come on, bro. All right. Anyway. So first thing I did is start with this hi-hat and this snare to kind of, um, find what BPM I was gonna, uh, we gonna work out of. So I start with this hi-hat and snare just to kind of get the head bob right. I was just moving the tempo around the BPM until I locked in right here at 117. Cause this is like, you know, the bounce starting vision. I add this open hat. The dusty crusty open hat. Oh yeah, no, I forgot. I had dropped these snares out to like make more space. Put that perk right there. down some too so they feel like the fake blank space but um what i do next oh yeah so this is cool foundation then i added uh this bass line out of trillion to kind of set the mood on what i was thinking for a sound and I found this cool shaker thing on accident. So I just did a cool little pattern to that. Oh yeah, now before I did that, also I forgot to add this kick.
that one the atmosphere made these chords on it. kid last night um, at the Spider-Verse show had inspired me uh, by asking me that question. And um, yeah, I just realized how many younger producers today uh, might sleep on starting your beats with your drums. I'm not saying you always need to do that because the answer I gave him was just go with what inspires you. If you feel like it's a melody you just need to get off right now, that's just you know what I'm saying? Burning in your brain, calling you, do that. If you feel a drum beat is just in your head and you want to start with that, do that. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be different. Uh, it's different for me every time. It's not just no one thing. But, uh, yeah, there's definitely a lot of a lot of magic and a lot of... It's like a cheat code. Just starting with your drums first, you know? I feel like a lot of our biggest and greatest songs of all time were probably started like that. So it's like, yeah... I don't want to talk too much, man. Y'all go try that out uh, and let me know in the comments uh, how this going for you. You know, three times out. Peace.